And now we want to bring in our school closings expert, Storm to Mate meteorologist Blake Harms. He's live in Grand Rapids, and Blake, did today's closings pan out as you expected? Yeah, pretty much. In fact, we saw more closings than I anticipated. I was standing here at 4 o'clock yesterday, and the sidewalks and the roads were all wet. But as we all saw, right after dark, the evening commute turned really messy, and the snow continues to dump here, as Matt showed you, in Heritage Hill. We take a look at the maps, the northern side of the viewing area, all the schools in Ottawa and Kent County closed, much of Ionia, Montcalm, the Wago County as well. Some Muskegon County schools closed, except for that pocket of the city of Muskegon. And in the southern part of the viewing area, Area. Closings, a lot of them. Van Beer and Allegan, Barry, Eaton, Calhoun counties, all seeing lots of closings as well as parts of St. Joseph. So a widespread day. It's pretty easy to see why now as we have totals closing in on a foot. Uh, it's just difficult when you have lake effect snow because as we've all seen, it can be so localized. Uh, but a lot of superintendents decided to call it the first day of the year today. So Blake, have you seen a trend in schools deciding to make the call earlier on snow days? Yeah, it seems there has been, Sue, and uh, it's helpful for a lot of people, right? Parents planning for childcare the next day if they have to take the day off of work. Kids not having to uh, have sleepless nights wondering if they're going to have the next day off. The good news is our forecasting abilities have gotten so much better, uh, even in the last 10, 20 years, to where we can now say with more confidence that there will be high-impact events. And thankfully, the superintendents trust those forecasts, and that's what we saw a lot of last night and today. Yeah, for sure. And Blake, what goes into your thought process as to which schools may or may not close? What, what are you watching exactly? Yeah, so there's a lot that goes into it, uh, both psychology and science, right? So uh, with this storm kind of being hyped up throughout the week and, and the sense of we knew it was going to be significant all week long, it was not a surprise. Uh, that certainly plays a role. Uh, districts with rural roads especially get treated less, uh, especially to the northeast of Grand Rapids. And just the timing of the snow, right? We had the winter storm warning in effect. The snow started yesterday, continued through the overnight into today. That's exactly what you want if you are a kid or a teacher hoping for a snow day here in West Michigan. That's right. Blake Harms, thank you. It's so great to have him on staff. It really is, yeah. you know, and thank of course you. it's all about the safety, mm -hmm. right? Thanks, Blake.